I messaged you and you was like my profile was ghost town. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so so I've been uh I don't know what's going on, man. So first so firstly, uh I learned how to get around like the, the Facebook cap for like adding friends instead of doing it right away. Mm -hmm. I do I add twenty like every hour. So I've learned that. But the thing I come across now is nobody's actually accepting my request. Like I like I uh I DM uh I sent one for like for you. What? One one second, one second. Okay. All right, hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I uh messaged people like at least sixty people yesterday and okay. only got like two that uh actually accepted. Okay, okay. So then th this is so then here's where you here's what you kinda wanna do. That that's why like when your page is this blank, because this is mm -hmm. what I see when I'm not your friend, right? So when we're not yeah. friends, this is all we see. So I don't know if you have a bunch of other stuff on here, but you're only showing Oh, you can only see real Gram? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So as oh, as you come that. and request me, and I'm looking at this to see who the hell you are, this is all yeah. I see. I see born. I see I see Roti Graham, and and that's it. So oh, man, because I do have a couple of pictures up there, so I don't know what's going on. So you just have them set to private. That's all, or or, or not private, but you have it set to only your friends. So only the ones oh, okay. that can see it. Yeah. That's how you have it set up. You gotta have, you gotta have it public. But yeah. what I'm saying, the reason for that is because what I'm saying is that as you go and request somebody, and let's say they're just tripping out, they're like, "Who's this dude, Trevon?" Like, I, I don't know him. And then they come to your page, and because they're not friends yet, this is all they see, and they're like, "Damn, this this account must be like, you know, shit." It's but like, right, so so it must be set to only friends. Yeah, your your it other stuff. Your other stuff is, yeah, it is. That's why I don't, yeah, that's why I don't see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to release that. You want to make it public. And then also up here in the intro, you got to up your game over here too. This intro, yeah. you got to add it. Like for example, with mine, let me just show you an example. Um, so again, as people, as they come to your page, prior to them accepting your friend request, they got to see some stuff in that intro. And so- mm -hmm. This is how you want to just kind of step it up a little bit. Let me show you. Let me show you mine. So, and this is, and it's public. So you would see this before we're even friends. So, yeah. When you come to my intro, look at the difference. So right away, I'm showing you a link to my business page. Right away, I'm showing you all these other platforms. I'm mm -hmm. showing you my 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 website address, which is really my dot TV, which is really my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. But but I'm but I'm showing more. I'm showing more. I'm letting people know, hey man, I'm on IG, catch me there. I'm on LinkedIn, catch me there. And and if you look closely, every single one of them is identical. So I'm just I'm matching that brand name, right? I'm matching that branding. Yeah. So so when I come here, and, and this is what you see before we were even friends, because it's that help that. So that's just basic right there. Basic, 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 what I call step one is optimizing all your social media links and listing them on your Facebook page. Um, mm -hmm. and then, and then, and then when it comes to step two, step two is as people come to your business page, cause you're going to have it linked right here in the intro. So it's going to say CEO at Realty Grant, right? Yeah. You're going to have that link right there. So as I come over to your page, there better be a big number right here. Mm -hmm. See, so look, as I land on the page, I didn't even have to scroll. I just land. I don't even have to yeah. scroll. I remember I watching that in one of your videos too, running ads uh, yeah. to social proof. Yeah, and that's a one-time ad. That's not an ad you gotta run all the time. It's just you don't gotta you you don't have to necessarily take a ten thousand like I did. Like you don't gotta go yeah. that high at all. I mean, there's cats that are way higher than that. There's cats that I come across that are at three hundred thousand, right? But you uh -huh. you gotta be there right now. You know what I mean? But but if I come here and I see twenty five hundred, or if I see thirty two hundred, yeah. at least it's a little bit something. And, and there's a comma in that number, and not too many people even have more than a thousand likes. Mm -hmm. Because what everybody does is they'll come over here to their personal page. They got three hundred friends. They got a business page, so they're clicking invite to get the three hundred mm -hmm. friends to like the page. And before you know it, twenty people like it. 
So, yeah. so if I can come here and if I can see at least 1700, okay, shit, he must be doing something. Right. Yeah. Like that perception, that's what it is. Um, so that's what I call step two, that like number. That's a Facebook ad. It's an engagement ad. It's a like ad. Um, mm -hmm. It's not for leads. It's just to get that like number up. Those likes are going to come from everywhere. They're not targeted. They're targeted as far as a, a keyword. So you could target digital marketing. You could target real estate. Yeah. You could target any keyword, but but you're targeting everyone on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you're only doing that to get the number. You're only doing it to, to get the number, the credibility yeah. of the number. That's, that's, and that's why you don't spend too, too much. I spend like maybe a hundred bucks on it, you know, if that, and, and just run that one time. But then also, mm -hmm. if, you, if you look over here, down here, when you go a little lower, you start seeing Inspired Digital. There's my business email. And it's not a Gmail, right? A lot of people have their Gmail up there. No, it's like, no, yeah. give me that Gmail, put your business email, email make, that, make that shit match, right? Mm -hmm. Inspired Digital, Inspired Digital, Inspired Digital, Inspired Digital. Everything is one name. That's what most people don't do. And that right there alone, bro, that right there alone, you could charge these businesses or these real estate agents to do. Because none of them have that. No business. I don't care if it's an agent or a freaking yoga instructor. If you have yeah. a small business and I go look at your Facebook page, I look at your personal page, I look at the intro. I look at the business page, I look at the intro. 99.9% .9 of every single small business owner, I don't give a damn what you're pushing. 99.9% .9 don't even have this. And when mm -hmm. I show them it, when I, sh when I take their company name, and I show them what it should look like. Trayvon Martin, Trayvon Martin, Trayvon Martin, Trayvon. They're like, yeah. David, you're right. That shit does need to be laced up. <laughs> and, and then I can end up yeah. charging them. I can end up charging them a couple hundred. I'm going to uh, take a screenshot right quick because I don't have my book right now. For no, notes. I'm recording it. That's all good. I'm, I'm recording all right. it. So, so I could charge someone. I could charge a small business owner, a real estate agent. I could charge anyone a couple hundred just to go optimize all that for them. All mm -hmm. I get from them is, is send me your send me your login, and and, and I tell them because sometimes they'll trip out. Sometimes they'll say, "I don't know about giving my password." Yeah, I know. Like, Dude, it's like shit. Let me change. How many like, people? Like, how many okay. people usually like accept for you to do something so simple? How many of them accept it? Yeah. Well, shit. I mean, I got videos, you know, up on YouTube where I'm showing my Stripe account where I've you know closed over 400 people. <laughs> yeah you know so and, and all of them are real estate agents so mm -hmm. so that right there is, is basic and normally it's 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 that right there that i start people at like yeah. i don't i don't approach a real estate agent and say hey man pay me two g's a month and i'm gonna do all this for you i don't i don't yeah. do it that way like i i i believe in a value ladder and i believe mm -hmm. in, in starting people off small because you mm -hmm. gotta you gotta you gotta keep in mind like no one knows you, bro. Like on, on social media, no one knows me. No one knows each other. We don't know each other on social media, especially yeah. when we start building a business. And this, this applies to when you're building a business. If you're just like my wife and she just, you know, don't have a business. She just got, you know, her 200 friends on Facebook that she actually knows, right? Mm -hmm. If you're like that, okay, cool. You know these people on your Facebook. You know them people on your IG. Those are all your homeboys from school. But that's 100 yeah. If you're building a business, that number is at 1,100. If you're building a business, you're scaling your friend number to 3,200. And are mm -hmm. you going to know all of them? Hell no. You ain't going to know nope. none. They got to be on your niche. They got, they got, they got to they're going to be, they're going to be either, let's say you're a real estate agent and, and you're accepting a bunch of people because you obviously want to build a relationship and maybe sell them a house someday. Yeah. But these are people that you don't know. They're people that you don't know. And as you take that number up, to 5,000 friends, or if on IG you take it to 10,000 followers, you ain't knowing mm -hmm. none of them, right? You're not knowing any of them. So, so yeah. as I approach these business owners and as I hit them in the DM, they don't know me. And they're yeah. probably getting 15 other messages just like that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, so rather than me coming from left field and saying, hey man, yeah, I charge 2,500 a month, take it or leave it. I don't like that approach, man. I'll end up building yeah. a relationship first. I'll end up starting them small first. I'll end up sharing. I use Zoom, so I don't do a phone call. I use mm -hmm. Zoom just like this, so I can visually show them everything. I'll show them. I'll show them their page, and then I'll show them either my page or I'll show them a client's page. And right now, if you don't have any other clients, that's why you need to step up your game because you can use your page as an example. You use yeah. your your intro on your personal page, and you use your 
your business page, you use that as the example. And just yeah. be like, hey man, this is all I want to do. We're not talking about lead capture. We're not talking about monthly retaining, you know, monthly mm -hmm. fee. I don't want to do any of that right there. Let me do this one time thing and let me show you how much I'm going to change just the way your page looks. Yeah. And that See, right the there thing, is value. The thing is, I had, I got one client right now, but that was because, I guess that's because he accepted my friend request and actually seen my page. Because he's on the uh, trial, right? He's on the trial right now, but I haven't been able to get any more after that. That's that's what I'm saying, bro. It, it it starts with your page. Like it starts with the intro. You gotta step this intro up. You gotta list list everything. And again, I'm showing you how you should list it. List all that. Get that business page up and and, and run that like ad. Take that like count to a few thousand likes. Mm -hmm. That way, when people see you and they get your message and they go to your page and they do a little due diligence, it stands out. Yeah. That right there is, is, is bottom basic credibility. Like we all need that because no one knows you. So if I mm -hmm. go to your business page and, and you show me 57 likes and, and none of this none of this is even listed, you ain't got no links over here, your business, your personal page, you ain't got nothing over here. It's like, yeah. I'm gonna I'm think you're from Nigeria or I'm gonna think you're from freaking Pakistan and I'm gonna think you're just <laughs> a bot, just direct yeah. messaging me. You know what I mean? That's why, and that's why a lot of the times, a lot, I, I did not start putting YouTube videos on my personal page until a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, and this is what I've been doing since 2016. So I've been, I've been on this hustle since 2016. DM, small business owners, real estate agents specifically, social media marketing, running this Facebook ad for them. I've been doing that since 2016 full time. It's my only hustle, full time. Yeah. And it wasn't until a couple months ago when my YouTube channel started taking off and I'm like, mm -hmm. man, I'm going to start putting my YouTube videos everywhere. I'm going to start sharing them on my, per my personal page. I'm going to start sharing them on my business page, which I never did before. I'm going to start sharing them on Twitter. I'm going to start sharing them on, on LinkedIn, but really the personal Facebook page is what I'm really talking about. I barely started posting these YouTube videos over here a couple months ago because I didn't give yeah. a shit no more. My YouTube income was increased. And I'm like, damn, I want everybody to watch these damn videos. I want to make money on everybody watching it. Right, that was, mm -hmm. that's my attitude now because now I'm seeing my YouTube income grow, and I'm like, shit, I want my YouTube video everywhere now. But <clears throat> before that, before that, all I was posting. This is another key, another tip that most people don't even they don't even they, they, your mentor ain't even probably telling you this. Mm -hmm. What I believe is that social media is personal. The 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 moment you mess up is when you come out here and you post nothing but business. And, and you got all these agents and you're pitching nothing but realty brand. Yeah, it's going to be hard to sell them because like, as, soon, as soon as you accept the request, they think it's basically, I think it's basically because you're trying to sell them before you yes, talk man. to them. Yes, yes. And, and, and that's why all I posted previously, like this is September, but even if I go back, there's still YouTube videos. But yeah. before that, I would say, I would say August. Like, let me take it back real quick. August. That September. So so it was really August and, and, and back. It's really just pictures of me and my family, bro. Like it's keeping yeah. it real. Like it's keeping it real. So that's why when these agents or whoever, when they connect with me, they're like, okay, damn, this guy's a normal person. And then I hit him on the back end. I hit him in the yeah. DM. Right? I hit him in the DM. But when they're when they're <laughs> looking at my DM message and then they're looking at my profile to see my pictures of my family. Yeah, it's different. It ain't like you're reading my DM and then you're coming to my page and all I do is I'm pitching all these different programs on my personal yeah. page. It's like, dude, that's a turn off, you know? So, so look like just me and my little daughter, like getting it in. That's mm -hmm. realness. That's realness. People connect with people. People don't connect with your pitch. People don't connect with your brand. They connect with, yeah. unless you're a Nike and unless you're, you've been doing it forever, then, <laughs> then we connect. But until you drop millions on advertising every damn day, like ain't nobody connecting with that. They're connecting yeah. and that and, 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 and ain't no one connecting like that on social media. We connect with people on social media. We don't connect with brands on social media. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why as you start to run Facebook ads, that's why over here on my personal page, I mean I mean excuse me, over here on my business page, what a lot of people do is they'll put a, a logo right there in the profile picture. It's like, no, dude, that's me. Like that's my real picture. Because as you start to see ads in the newsfeed, 
you want it. Watch, I'll show you. There's a big difference. And these little tweaks, man, it's these little tweaks that no one even pays attention. As I scroll through and I'm just seeing what my friends are up to, seeing what everyone's posting, and then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored app. Yeah. There's a logo. Like automatically, automatic. If I was the, like, I'm a digital marketer, you're a digital marketer. So we already know. It has to be a picture, man. Right? It's like, I already know who this is. Group funnels, yeah. like I already know who it is, so so it stands out to me. But the average consumer that just sees a logo right away, they just keep going. They yeah. just keep going. That's why it's not impossible to build a brand that way. It's just going to cost you more money because mm -hmm. now you got to spend more to get the attention because no one's connecting with you up front. But if I yeah. scroll down, like let me just see if I can see another ad. If I scroll down, look right away, sponsored. There's his face. Like mm -hmm. right away in the profile picture, right away I can connect to that. Right away, you know. And and then I just yeah. hover over and I see forty one thousand. If I hover over yours and you're running an ad to me and I'm a real estate agent, and then let's say let's say your 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 profile picture, you got your company logo right there because you think it looks hot. But then mm -hmm. I scroll over it and I see thirty seven likes. Nah. Right. It's like hell. No, I'm gonna keep going. That guy. Yeah. Start. Right. So so it's these little things, man. That 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 I teach and it's, it's these little things that I implement myself that I think mm -hmm. are, are a big difference. You know, this guy right here, Allard, he's killing it. YouTube guy, this is a YouTube ad guy, killed it right there, boom. Profile yeah. picture, that's him, right? So the mm -hmm. so little things like that, man, um, is what's gonna allow these people to accept you even even faster. Um, and and, and, that, and that, that's kind of, that's kind of what, what allowed me to take mine you know all the way to five thousand is just is showing the realness of me and then and then putting some credibility right here so people can see that and then when they click on my business page taking that like count up so they they automatically assume that i'm the shit right they mm -hmm. come here they see ten thousand like damn this dude must be crushing it when little do they know i could have just started i just ran a facebook ad took it up to ten thousand in a couple days little do you know yeah. Right. So, mm -hmm. so it starts there, man. It starts there. Get your, get your links up and listed, get them all matching, um, um, get that like count up and then, and then people will start taking your page more, more seriously. And you'll be, you'll be, um, people will start accepting your, your request much more faster. Yeah. Does that that sounds sense? good. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah, man. What else, what else you, what else you thinking? I kind of, I kind of, I don't want to steal your sauce, but I kind of want to steal like the link strategy. <laughs> you said you, no, dog, you steal it all, bro. Steal it all. <laughs> I it. I ain't tripping. No, I mean, but I just don't know how I would pitch, how I would pitch to them. Like, let me do this for a hundred, two hundred dollars. Well, again, you, you're going to use yours as an example or mm -hmm. with your, your client, go link all of his, go link all yeah. of his as an example. Um, and, 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 and that's your blueprint. And that's what I always do, man. When I'm on the, when I'm on a call, when I'm on a zoom call like this, I'm telling you, I'm looking at everyone's look, I'm going to show you right now, man. I'm going to show you right now. Let's just scroll through the news feed. All these people are my friends. Let's just click on someone who's not my client. That's a sponsored ad. Let me just click on someone random Tracy. Let's click on Tracy. I come over yeah. to Tracy's page. Look at her intro. This is a real estate agent, dude. I don't see nowhere on here real estate. I got to click about. Let me click about. And then it says realtor right there. Yeah. But but prior to that. It, they would have never knew. I don't see shit. Like, yeah. I don't see no business page. I don't see no social media links. I don't see any of that. And then, and then, let's say, let's say I reach out to Tracy. And it's a simple message. Once she accepts my request, here, here here's where I'm going to throw you game. Here's some, mm -hmm. here's some game. Once they accept the request, you don't need to send them a message right away because that's a little creepy. So don't, mm -hmm. don't message them right away. Wait maybe a couple of days. Like take your, here's what I would do. Here's what I would do. Over here, oh, actually, um, well, you're at like, let's just call it, a, let's call it 115 friends. You're at 115. Yeah. I would take that number to 200. Take that number to 200 and then start DMing. Make that part of your daily routine where you're mm -hmm. going to spend all the people who actually already accepted your request. I don't care if you accepted it three days ago. I don't care if you were my, you were my 17th person and now I'm on 213. It don't matter. It don't matter when it was, but the fact is it'll be way days later. So if you take it to 200 and then you go back 
and DM everybody a hello message, mm -hmm. then that doesn't seem as creepy because these are going to be people that you probably requested five days ago, ten days ago, last month, and now they're now they're getting a, a, a hello message from you. So yeah. that first welcome message, that first hello message, is everything, and and that's mm -hmm. what that's what I do, man. So I'll send that person a message. Um, and that first message, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna keep it real. Have I messaged this person? Okay, okay. Actually, that's not that that was that was back in April. That's not the first message. But let me. Actually, my cell phone's not on me. But but here's the first message. Here's the first message. I would send her message, and it would say something like this: Hey, Tracy. This is Trayvon. Just wanted to say hello and say thank you for accepting my friend request. I know yeah. that you're a successful real estate agent, and that's really cool. In fact, I help real estate agents with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising. I'd love mm -hmm. to give you some free tips to help you capture more leads on social media and take your brand to the next level. If Man, that's open, exactly <laughs> that's exactly how I set up my uh, messages. Okay. If you're ever open for, for, for a strategy call, again, these are free tips. And all mm -hmm. I ask from you, Tracy is a good review on my business page. Let me know if you're up for it and we'll schedule a good time to chat. Other than that, mm -hmm. again, thanks for accepting my request. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. That's the welcome message. What's gonna happen is you're gonna start requesting a lot of people and then you're gonna start sending out that message. And at the end of the week, you're gonna have a percentage of people reply to that message because their psychology, you might have, you might have had something down like that but what you didn't have down was the review. Yeah. So, so, so there's psychology in me saying that when they're re when they're reading that message, Hey, this guy, David, he's introducing himself. He's saying, thank you for accepting his request. He's complimenting me. He said that I, he, he said that I, it looks, it looks like I'm a successful real estate agent. He's complimenting mm -hmm. me. And he's saying that he would give me some free tips in exchange for a good review. Yeah. When they're reading that, there's psychology in that. When they're reading that, they're like, damn, I can do that. Mm -hmm. I ain't got shit to lose. He's just asking for a review. He's going to give me some free tips. I'm yeah. in. That person replies back and says, I could do that. And then you reply back and say, okay, cool. Send me your email and best time tomorrow. I'll mm -hmm. email you a confirmation and the link and the link to my zoom call they reply back tuesday at 10 a.m you schedule that what i do is i schedule that on my carter calendar because my carter calendar sends them a booking confirmation and it sends them a reminder prior to our call so mm -hmm. so so i'll book them i don't i don't say i don't send them a link to my calendar i ask them i say hey send me your email and best time tomorrow I'll schedule us, I'll add us to yeah. the calendar and email you a confirmation. That is it, bro. I don't go into any other dialogue. It went from message to reply, text to reply, to message to reply, book confirmation. I don't have dialogue. Hello? I'm I'm not over here DMing asking how the weather is. How's business? Yeah. How's business lately, Tracy? I ain't saying nothing like that. I'm not getting into any of that fake conversation. It's just message. It, it's all copy and paste, bro. It's all copy and paste. Mm -hmm. It's all copy and paste. I don't, 99.999% of my messaging is copy and paste. I don't go off of it at all. It's message, reply, message, reply, message, reply, book confirmation, book, uh, book confirmation, book, book, uh, 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 schedule call. Yeah. So, so that's, that's how I, that's how I hit them in the DM and I request them. I up my game on my profile. Look, and, and then again with Tracy, once I get her on the, on the line, remember the whole message was I'm here to give you some social media marketing tips for free in exchange for a good review on my business page. That's all I ask. I help mm -hmm. real estate agents. I know you're a successful real estate agent. I'd love to give you some free tips. That's all it is, bro. And then once I get them on the call, then I'm going to say, Tracy, Here's where normally everything starts because all Tracy is, is thinking about, bro, is how does she capture her next buyer leads? How does she, ca how does she capture her next sell leads? 
selling them. So that's all she's freaking thinking of. That's all any business owner is thinking of. How do I make my next sale? How do I capture that next lead? That's all they're thinking of. But yeah. what I do when I'm on the call with Tracy, I tell her, I call her out. I say, Tracy, I already know what you're looking for. I already know you're looking at, you're a real estate agent. You're looking for the next buyer or seller. I already know that. But because I study this stuff, like you study real estate, let me dumb it down for you and let's back up mm -hmm. just a little bit. Let me show you what your pages are missing and let me show you how basic this is, but let me also show you how important it is to your branding and why it's, it's probably one of the reasons your business isn't crushing it on social media. And so what I do is I bring her here and I say, Tracy, here's where it all starts. As we connect with people on social media, no one knows you. The 2375, I'll give it to you. You maybe know 200. But the other freaking 2100 are people like me who you just happen to accept a friend request from that you don't even know. Don't tell me you know 2300 people and don't tell me they all live in your backyard. No, they don't. You're a local business owner. You're taking that number up as high as you, as you possibly can because you're thinking the more exposure, more business, which logically thinking that is true. But at the same time, let me just show you what's hurting your brand as these 2,300 people land on your page. Let me yeah. show you your intro and then let me show you a friend of mine. And this is what I do, man. I'll, bring, I'll either show her my page, but, but a lot of times I don't even show her my page. I wanna show her someone in her industry that's what's going to solidify it is if I show her another agent, I'll say, let me show you my friend Candy's page. So as I come to your page, Tracy, I'm friends with you on Facebook. I'm friends with Candy on Facebook, but here's the deal. I don't know either one of you. So as I come to your page, this is what you're showing me. As I come to Candy's page, this is what she's showing me. Mm -hmm. Business page link, IG, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, website address, every single one of them is identical. I say, Tracy, I already know you're looking for that lead. I already know you want to close that next escrow. I get it. But this is basic social media branding that is hurting your page. Yeah. So when she sees that, bro, I don't care what type of business you're in. If you're a gym owner and I show you another gym that has all their links listed and it looks like that, and then your gym page, your personal page looks like that. You're a business owner, bro. You ain't a normal consumer. You're a business owner that ain't got shit listed. And you could tell me it's your personal page, whatever. You got your business page. Okay, cool. You got your business page, whatever. But that business page, you got 110 likes. All those people came from over here. And the only reason why you even need that business page is if you're running Facebook ads, which I'm willing to bet you're not. Mm -hmm. So this personal page is more important than you could possibly imagine because this is where you're adding all the friends and connecting with all these people. It's here. So it starts here. We'll get to the business page, Tracy. Don't, 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 don't even, don't even trip. I'm going to bring you to, to the business page for sure. But this right here, all I'm saying is you, does, does it not look different? This is a competitor. Does it not look different? Right. And that alone, bro, to any business owner, that's value to any business owner. So again, if you think you can go out there and close people at two grand when they don't even know you yet, okay, cool, do it. But all, all I'm showing you is, is how I've done it and how I stuff them in for just a few hundred up front to go do this basic shit that takes me 20 minutes. And now I don't mm -hmm. even do this. Now I don't do none of this. I send them a video, they do it themselves. So, so but this is where it all started. It started by just adding that little value, getting them for a few hundred up front. That few hundred feeds my family. So if I could do a few, a few clients per week, start them small, make about 1500 per week just on the up front. And here's what I do. Then now I put them, I onboard them as a client. They send me all the passwords. I make their page look like this prior. It looked like this. And then I do the yeah. same thing on their business page. And then I run a like ad. Look, I come over to Candy's page. I'm showing her, she's showing me her business page. She got, she got 110 likes. I show her Candy's business page and Candy has 3,500. This is what I'm showing her, bro. Mm -hmm. This is where we're starting. 
So I'm starting with these links and I'm starting with that like ad. That's where we're starting. We're not starting on lead capture. We're not capturing buyer leads right now. We're not, we're not there yet, Tracy. We ain't there yet. Let's get your page up. And, 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 and by me pitching her this way, bro, no one's pitching her this way. Let's keep it real. Like, no, every, all you guys are trying to get 1500 out of the damn agent right now. So, so with me, I just take them for a few hundred, 300, 400, 500 to do this. To yeah. the mic ad. And there's a, there's a very, very big profit margin in there for me. And then, and then all I'm doing is that. And then I put them into my Kartra. I onboard them through my Kartra email autoresponder. And now I have about seven emails that are already set to go out to this new client. And those seven emails are, are, are priming her or preparing her for the next step. Once we mm -hmm. take care of this, the next step is when we start running local ads to capture buyer and sellers. That's the next step. But by the time I get there, and, and those are all automated emails that I have preset ready to go out with, with links to my calendar where they schedule a call. And when, when they schedule that call, now I'm on the phone getting them for 1500 a month. Because by that time, let's just call it two weeks later, my emails were priming her, my email automation. I was adding value. I was showing her what the next step is going to be. I'm showing her different funnels. I'm showing her a listing funnel. I'm showing her a buyer guide funnel. I'm showing her an open house funnel. I'm doing this via email automation. And so now I'm just adding value, adding value. So by the time two weeks comes and, and, and we're looking to schedule that next call, they're like, holy shit, this guy, David, he hooked up all my links. He got me at 3,500 likes. He's been showing me emails over the last week or so about what the next step is and how all these funnels are going to help me capture leads. Okay, shit, I'm going to schedule a call with him. And by that time, now we're talking monthly retainer. Mm -hmm. So that's just what I've done, bro, since, since 2016. Um, now today, I don't have monthly clients, nor do I want monthly clients. Now today, I just teach people how to do it themselves. So I'll take, I'll take Tracy. And I'll take her for the first few hundred up front, the links, the like ad. But now my whole back end for the next step is to not, is to not really run ads for her and get, get her as a retained client. That's just where I'm at in my business. You may be looking for monthly retained clients where you're at in your business, and that's totally fine. Um, I've already done all that. I don't, I, that's not my model anymore. Now I'm just teaching people how to do it themselves. So, mm -hmm. so you know, let's just say charging them a thousand up front for some coaching calls and, and some coaching videos that teach them how to run ads themselves, that teach them how to build funnels themselves. And, and so where I'm at now is, is, is these coaching programs. And again, I run everything through Kartra. So now I have a 55 video coaching program that I'm now scaling at a thousand. Um, and that's what I want to be selling all day while I'm sleeping you know, through, mm -hmm. through, through Facebook ads, but it's just, everyone's models a little different, but, but all I'm trying to do is just, you know, give you a little game on, on how to get these people to accept you as friends. And, and, and what I would recommend your, your entry level service could be, you know, yeah. you know, um, because again, I, I try that whole go after them and, and, and get them at 2000 a month right away. And you're going to starve, bro. You're, you're going to starve. And, and here's mm -hmm. what you do. Here's what you do. And this is the last thing I, I, I have to say. And then if you have any other questions, I'm, I'm more than you know, happy to answer them. Here's the last thing you want to do. As you get this person's links up and, and you get that like count up and that person comes back and says, hey, T, let's talk about lead capture now. Let's talk about getting listings and buyers. That's the next step. As you yeah. take out one client and you help them be successful and you start capturing leads, it's no more requesting them as friends on Facebook. Now you take that as a case study and you start running mm -hmm. Facebook ads, targeting agents to schedule. Oh. Oh, okay. So that's what you do with your uh, case studies. You run ads with them. You run ads to capture appointments that way. It's no more friend requests after that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the friend request is just in the beginning to get you a mm -hmm. handful of clients, to feed your family, to get that case study. Once mm -hmm. I get that case study, I'm running Facebook ads to capture more agents to schedule appointments with. Yeah. Now you just wake up every day 
to a calendar full of agents ready to talk to you because they mm -hmm. came from your ad because you showed them that one case study of you capturing 37 buyer leads in the last three days for Tracy. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and that ad is a video that ad is you on screen share. That ad is you showing them the ad that ad is you showing them your ad manager. So you're looking at the analytics and you're showing them the numbers. That's a test. That's a, that's a full blown case study. Pull the, pull the curtains back. Show me what the real numbers look like type of a video ad. And that could be, oh. a, that could be a two minute ad. It could be a three minute ad. Hey guys, this is Trayvon. Let me just show you what I did for Tracy. This is a client of mine in the real estate space. I was able to get, capture 37 leads in the last three days and she already has three of them in escrow. Let me show you what I was able to do. We ran this Facebook ad, blah, blah, blah. That's a three minute video. And I'm doing it on Zoom. I'm doing it on screen share. I'm taking that video. I'm uploading it to my Facebook business page. I'm running a Facebook ad to a landing page to get people to schedule a call. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah, I got it. So, but in the meantime, in the meantime, you got to feed your family and it can happen with the direct message, friend requesting, and starting with the links and that like ad. Yeah. Because I'm telling oh. you, that, that, that oh like God. ad, every, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, no, no, I was talking to somebody. Okay, okay. So, what, what I do know for a fact, also the reason why the like ad is, is so valuable, and, and they're willing to pay. Man, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I, I got to end the call right quick. No, no, it's all good, man. Get at me later on. I'll record this and I'll, and I'll, and I'll put it up on YouTube um, tomorrow. All right. Right on, man. Hit me up later. All right. Okay, man. Peace.